as a feminist and somebody committed the equality. <laughs> story. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in 1967, I think it was, the great leaders of England and Wales decided that enough was enough and they de decriminalised homosexuality throughout the land. <laughs> but the great leaders of Northern Ireland at the time decided, oh no, never, 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 never will that happen here. And they left our LGBTQ people to struggle on through the intolerance, through the fear through the abuse until 1982 when common sense prevailed and the great leaders decided to decriminalise homosexuality in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Something else happened about 15 years ago or something. We were all promised a brand new Northern Ireland. Great, you would think. But let's have a wee look at what that new Northern Ireland brought to our LGBTQ community. Some of our great leaders still support a lifetime ban on gay men being able to donate blood. Some of our great leaders still will not give support to equal marriage. Some of our great leaders will not show support for a sexual orientation strategy despite them putting it into their own programme for government. Discrimination in goods, facilities, and services, and guess what? They lost. Yeah. Yeah. They opposed civil partnerships, and guess what? They lost. Yeah. They opposed non discrimination in employment, in gender recognition, in adoption rights, and guess what? Yeah. They Clause, you will lose again. 